What is up guys, welcome back to another live in the UU tier today. We are gonna be using a team that I found on the forums called Kings and Queen, it's really cool. It's got these uh, six mons, well you can't see the end of the picture here, but uh, as you can see, these are the sets. I'll leave a link to this uh, thread in the description down below as well as a paste bin to the team uh, so that you guys can use it alongside me. It's very, very good, uh, solid in UU right now, so hopefully I don't eat my words and lose three games. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Let's just check how many people are actually playing right now. Got the UU tier. Okay, I thought it was only three for a second there. Uh, 51 battles going on, so we should be good to get a game. Where are we on the ladder? I don't even know if we're laddered right now. Uh, a lot of ULT going on. That's uh, that's the um, the UU ladder tour, basically. Hold on. Before we see the team matchup, we got to find out where we're ranked because it's a, tra a tradition on the channel, you know? Uh, we're not in top 500. Okay. <laughs> so I haven't played enough UU, apparently. So we got a Zydoge. We got a uh, Clefable. A Sharpedo, Chandelure, Crobat, Metagross. Uh, Crobat is looking a little bit threatening uh, to my team. I do have Aerodactyl, but other than that, um, I don't really switch into it too well. Um, what would he lead off with against my Swampert? Probably a Chandelure if it has Energy Ball, or is Clefable because it's a pretty safe a switch, uh, pretty safe play in general. So, uh, what I could do is just lead off with Primarina. His switch-ins to Primarina are extremely limited. I can just throw off a Hydro Pump and something pretty much dies. Except for maybe Metagross, if, especially if it's Assault Vested. But if it is Assault Vested, then I can sw just switch into my Swampert and get up rocks. He is going to lead off with his Metagross, actually. Okay, so interesting play. Um, we are going to switch directly into, uh, into Swampert here. Hey, Riz, don't tell me to die, man. <laughs> if you're watching this. <laughs> I just read your message. All right, so... Uh, that should be a pretty safe play going into uh, into Swampert. If you guys don't know, by the way, um, we are in the NPL Miners officially, so uh, that's something to look forward to. We're mid draft process as well, and uh, it's going pretty well, honestly. It's not it's not going bad at all. Um, I think getting up rocks is kind of important this game, especially since this hazard removal is named Crobat, and if it has to click the fog, uh, pretty much something on my team can kill it. So let's get up rocks. He does go for the Zen head, but that is going to do quite a bit of damage. Um, I could switch directly into Bisharp here if I really wanted to. Um, and I kind of do want to actually, because I don't want to give him the free uh, Zen head, but as he does go for it right there, beautiful. And I think I just sucker punch here, honestly, just get off some damage on this Metagross to put it in range of Earthquake. Uh, as he does go for his own Earthquake, that is fine. Uh, yeah, I can just go into to Aerodactyl if I want to. Um, I think that should kill, right? Let's let's find out. Hold on. Damage calc. Let's move it over as usual. Let's go to a Metagross uh, offensive or nope, not not choice man. Thank you. Uh, offensive Stealth Rock versus um, Bisharp. Uh, Sword Zance. It's not a Life Orb variant, but I believe we are Jolly. Uh, a Jolly Sucker Punch would do upwards of 59 to 70%, so he does have a lot of HP investment. Uh, roughly about that, yep. And then if we check Aerodactyl, um, that's not how you spell Aerodactyl, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we go to the Home Claws set and we check Earthquake. It does 49 min so to max HP. The only problem is if he has Bullet Punch, he'll go for it. Uh, bullet Punch... Uh, plus one will kill me, so I'm in a little bit of a bad spot here. Um, I could go Amoongus and HP Fire, but he has the Zen Headbutt. Yeah, I think I just have to pray that he doesn't have Bullet Punch and just go into uh, Aerodactyl and click Earthquake. Um, he's already shown three moves. If he's fully offensive, then so be it, but uh, I have to make this play right here. I don't have a choice, so we'll just go for the Earthquake as he is going to stay in. Uh, and he shook a berry. Wow, okay. Well, that should put him in range of any move from uh, Latias. He does get another uh, attack raise, uh, but I'm not too, too concerned. I think I could just go for the Draco Meteor here. If he does switch in the Clef, that's fine. Uh, as long as he doesn't have these attack raises, raises I'm okay. Um, if he switches into anything but Clef, it'll get annihilated here. So uh, it's either let his Metagross go down. Uh, hopefully we don't miss. Uh, or it's uh, switch into Clefable, which I think is his better play. As he does switch into Clefable, that is fine with me. Uh, I will just go for the Psy Shock here to gauge damage. Uh, actually, I kind of need this Latias, don't I? Um, okay, so we will go into Amoongus here just to play it safe. Uh, he could pull a double into his uh, Chandelure, but I don't see that being a good play. He could go Sharpedo. Uh, that's not a terrible play for him, actually. I'm glad we kept our Primarina at full. Uh, he is going to go. He is going to double into Chandelure. Okay. Um, 
Now, does he go for the Shadow Ball or does he go for the Fire Blast is the question. Uh, and I think the Shadow Ball is the answer, so I'm going to go for Spore. He does choose to Fire Blast. Fantastic. Okay. Not like I didn't have three switch-ins on my team, but okay. Uh, I am now going to go into... Uh, let's see. Latias is fine. And uh, as, if he's Scarfed or Specs, then he'll have to switch out. I'll just go for the Psy Shock here. It's going to do a lot to his Clefable regardless. So... That's, uh, that's definitely always my play, as he does switch out into Clefable and takes a Psy Shock. Actually, that does absolutely nothing, and I'm going to switch out into Swampert directly here. This should be his Stealth Rocker, in theory. It's really a shame uh, that he had the Shooka Berry, and that he got those attack raises. Uh, I probably should have just attacked his Metagross, honestly, but he is going to go for Thunder Wave on Swampert. That's fantastic. Uh, we don't have to take that, of course, and I'm just going to go for a Quake here. It doesn't look like he's Stealth Rock, actually, which is interesting. Um, we lost our um, our Defiant Mon, which kind of sucks, but uh, I couldn't risk him hitting the next end headbutt, which it looked like he did on Bisharp, but that's hard to tell when it's an immunity, so. We'll start the timer on this man. Um, this Clefable will be able to hit us with Moonblast if it really wants to. Uh, good news is that he no longer has a uh, switch in to Primarina at all. He's going to lower my special attack, not that that really matters. Going to get off an Earthquake. And uh, I think I'm just going to Quake again, honestly. I don't really have another play. And how many switch-ins to rocks does his Metagross have? I can't even see. I think we left it at like 14%, so it has two switch-ins, which really sucks. As he's going to go for a soft boiled, I'm going to get off another Quake right there. And uh, I think I'm just going to go for another Quake, honestly. And leave him hopefully in range of uh, Primarina's attack after the next Quake. Hopefully he knocks me out with Moonblast. Get a, get a crit. That would be awesome <laughs> if he would just get a crit. Um, he could switch into Crobat. That's not a bad play. He's gonna Calm Mind up. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna do some damage with Quake. Uh, and now what I have to do is, uh, Roar him out. Because we are a Roar Pert, of, of course. He does go for Soft Boiled. So we are gonna get him out of here. And he's gonna go into Sharpedo, which is not the worst thing for us, actually. As I'm just going to Quake again. He might just want to get off some damage, honestly. And, uh, Quake is fine here. Uh, if he protects, then he protects. He's just giving me extra leftovers. If I could keep Swampert alive, I think I can win this game. Uh, he's going to Waterfall us, and he's going to lose his Sharpedo as a result, which is huge news for uh, Latias. As long as I can get rid of his Clefable, I should be able to take down the rest of his team with Lottie. Let's hope. Anyway. Um, Clefable's Moonblast might be able to take me out from here, actually. I thought his Zygarde was at 10% <laughs> for a second there. I was going to be so happy. I was like, yes, it can't switch into anything. But no, it's Zygarde 10%, guys. Uh, he's going to go into his Clefable. That is fine with me. Uh, I'm just going to... I think I'm going to hard switch into Primarina. And I'm going to keep the Swampert around. Um, just in case. Uh, as he goes for Moonblast, does he get the special attack drop? He does, unfortunately. And uh, that means that I have to Hydro Pump and hope for a crit. Because I don't have another play. <laughs> I could have Earthquake there, but I needed to keep my Swampert around just a little bit long longer. I needed an extra sack because he has way too many Mons left. Can I crit this? That would be cool. No? Okay. Cool. Um, I'm going to now switch out into Swampert. If he wants to uh, Calm Mind up again, then he's going to take a Quake. Uh, he has to hit me with a Moonblast or he risks me roaring him out again. And then that's not good for him. So, let's see what he does. He might just go for another Moonblast, honestly, right here. Um, but I need to keep health on Primarina just a little bit more. He goes for another Calm Mind. Uh, I'm going to go for Quake. Leave him a little bit lower. He's actually faster than me on that turn. Was that a speed tie? No, he's always faster than me. Why was I going before him earlier? Was I? No, I wasn't. I'm just insane. Don't listen to me, guys. Uh, anyway, we're going to go out into Primarina here. Uh, we're going to attempt to crit him with a uh, Hydro Pump because that is literally our only play. What is taking so long? I already clicked Primarina. Hello? Showdown? You okay, buddy? All right, there we go. Um, let's just go for the Hydro Pump. No other play. Um, yeah, probably should have not let his Metagross get an attack raise. Um, or hit me with a Zen Headbutt to begin with on my Swampert. Because Swampert was my key to winning this game. I could have just kept phasing things out. So, it's a little bit uh, disappointing. But he does go for a Moonblast. Does he get a special attack drop? Not this time. And another Hydro Pump can knock him out. That's crazy that that did 47% and he's at plus 2. What? <laughs> Primarina, you are insane. Um, Primarina is going to go down to something, though. That's for sure. And uh, then we'll have to find a way to deal with the rest of his team. Um, 
with Lottie, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Um, does he switch out here? I wouldn't, anyway. I think that's a bad play, but that's just me. As he is going to do what? Come on, man. Make your play. Phantos 13. He's going to switch out into Metagross. He's going to sack off his Metagross. Okay. All right, so down goes that thing. And if you scarf Chandelure, then that was a good play because he could just Shadow Ball twice and then proceed to go into Zygarde and E-Speed me. Uh, it's not a bad play at all. In the meantime, I'm actually going to find another game because this one's almost done. We're down to two Mons, very little health. And uh, yeah, in comes his Chandelure, so it does look to be scarfed. Uh, I will go into, into Latias uh, on the off chance he doesn't Shadow Ball. Actually, no, that's a terrible play. Uh, I'm going to go for, uh, for Hydro Pump because there's no way he doesn't Shadow Ball right here. It definitely takes me out and yeah. I'm dead. Um, we did get another game against R R rank one. All right. What is going on? Why is it taking so long to load? Okay. Anyway, um, we've got a rain team. Very threatening to this uh, indeed. I think I'm just going to lead with Pert and get up rocks and hope they stay up because that is my best play. <laughs> As he is going to go for the Shadow Ball, so it's a good thing we didn't switch. We'll go into Lottie House here. Uh, we'll just fire off a Psy Shock. Let's see if he's scarfed. I'm assuming he's scarfed. Um, he could also be Specs. We'll find out in a second. Uh, but here we are going to lead off with Swampert against his Politoed. That's fantastic. We'll just get up our rocks. He might be tempted to go out into either Torn or um, Ludicolo. Seemed like his best plays. And uh, he is scarfed on his Chandelure. And we are going to side Shock the Chandelure. And uh, we are going to go down to whatever his next attack is. Because he has two Mons faster and another Mon that doesn't die and kills me off with a Moonblast. So I can't even recover in its face. So that is going to be a good game. I'm just going to forfeit this one. I'm going to move on to this one. He just goes for a Toxic, actually. Okay. Um, I'm going to Roar here. Expecting his Ludicolo to want to come in on my Amoongus, I guess. Would be the play. Yes? No? <laughs> Let's see. That's the play I would make anyway, is go into Ludicolo now, because Swampert can't touch Ludicolo. Yes, it can burn it, but that's all it can do. He's actually just going to Scald, okay. I'm going to go for the Roar. I'm going to get Raikou in here, which isn't terrible, as uh, what I can do is... I can switch into Amoongus on this, expecting him to want to go into Ludicolo or Torn on the uh, Earthquake. If he goes Torn, then so be it. We'll deal with it after, but I think Amoongus... Uh, Ludicolo is the thing I'm scared the most of, guys. Everything else I can deal with. He does go into Torn, okay. That's fine. As uh, this thing's in now, and it's a, it's a threat, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Um, the only thing I can do about it is go into Bisharp, and uh, hope he Hurricanes, doesn't confuse me, and then gets destroyed by a Sucker Punch. That's literally all I can do. As he does go for the Hurricane, does 50. Confuses me. Uh, I am going to get my Lumberry. That's what item I am. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to Sucker Punch him, leave him in range of rocks. He might be tempted to switch out here, but there's nothing he can really switch out to other than his own Bisharp that would really do anything for him because I'm just going to Sucker Punch whatever comes out anyway. So we'll see what his play is. I could also Pursuit here, but no. Uh, he's going to switch into Politoed. That is fine. I will go for the knockoff here. Uh, he can go for Scald if he wants to. I'm okay with losing Bisharp, even though it's my only source of priority. Uh, just because if I do get rid of this thing's Damp Rock, that's going to be a huge relief. Um, I mean, he might want to switch into Bisharp. No, he doesn't. He stays in. Okay. Loses his Damp Rock. Scalds me. Knocks me out. All right. And uh, I don't see a switch into Draco other than his Bisharp. So what I'm going to do... Is Arrow a better play, though? Hold on. Does Arrow knock this thing out? No way, right? Politoed, OU support uh, versus Aerodactyl, Mega Arrow, Stone Edge. Actually, if he's not max defensive, which I feel like he is, but let's see. Impish. Uh, Impish can take it. Can it take Bisharp's um, non life orb knockoff that well? None. Add a damp rock here, whatever item, it doesn't really matter. Um, not a Darkinium. Deep sea scale, there we go, whatever. Uh, knockoff would do 38 to 45 from Adamant. What about Jolly? Uh, 35 to 41, and we did how much? 
37. Okay, so yeah, he's max defensive. Uh, meaning that I don't think he has... He could have enough speed for Primarina. But he also doesn't have a switch into Primarina. So I'm going to go straight into it. And we're just going to fire off a Moonblast at this point. If he wants to go into Raikou after, that's fine. He's going to Toxic me and lose his rain as a result, which is fantastic. Uh, he has one more rain setter being his uh, Tornadus. But um, that's that I can deal with. He's going to go into Ludicolo here. I'm going to switch out into Amoongus on his Giga Drain. Not staying in here. As he does go for the Ice Beam, great play. Uh, except he has to Ice Beam me again, and he's no longer in rain. So I'm going to go back into Primarina on his next Ice Beam. As he goes for the Ice Beam. Yep, there it is. And I'm going to switch back into Amoongus, as he shouldn't Ice Beam this time. Uh, he'll probably go for Giga Drain. And uh, this Ludicolo is getting worn down quite quickly, so that's nice. As uh, he is going to go for the Giga Drain, so now Ice Beam doesn't take me out from here. And I can just go for the Clear Smog on him. And uh, that's not going to do a ton of damage, but it'll do enough, I think, uh, after Life Orb. He's going to go for another Giga Drain, predicting my switch out. But I'm not going to switch out because you don't Oko me. Uh, as Clear Smog is actually going to do a good amount of damage. And uh, I'm just going to go for another one, honestly, as he Giga Drains again. Okay. Well, goodbye, Ludicolo. Yes, awesome. Biggest threat gone. Now I just have to deal with the Kingdra, <laughs> which is also still a threat. Uh, he's going to go into Torn. I'm going to actually go for a Spore on his Rain Dance. Um, and then I'm going to go for a Giga Drain, because now this thing is asleep, and it's pretty much useless. And uh, if I can kill off some turns of Rain, that's fantastic. Uh, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to switch into Arrow, because uh, I can keep my Amoongus for his Kingdra for Water Spamming. And he can keep his Torn if he wants to, but if it doesn't wake up, then we're good. Let's see, it stays asleep, fantastic. And we are going to go for a Stone Edge here. Wing Attack should take him out, so I'm just going to go for a Wing Attack. I'm not going to risk the miss as uh, he stays asleep. Beautiful, he doesn't go for a Prankster Attack. And now he only has four turns of Rain left, so I should be able to kill these off. We'll see, though. Um, Swampert still has a function in this game, and that's to Earthquake his Raikou. So I am going to keep it around. Uh, Primarina can go down. Primarina can go down here. Uh, plus, I do have a Latias and a, uh, an Amoongus, so he might be tempted to go for a Dragon move here as I switch into Primarina, so we'll see. But uh, we should have this one in the bag because he let both his Rain Setters go down, which is nice. Unless his Kingdra has Rain as well, in which case it's probably not Specs, so that's less of a threat. That's really nice. As he is going to go for the Hydro Pump, he's going to miss, unfortunately. That really sucks because I don't think he can take me out with the next one. As I am going to go for a Moon Blast here. And with only three turns of rain left, we should be good to take this. Um, as he goes for a Z-move. Okay, so he's not Specs. He goes for the Hydro Vortex. Doesn't do enough to knock me out. So Specs Hydro Pump wouldn't have taken me out either. That goes down. Whatever comes in, I'm attacking. And uh, yeah, he uh, he forfeits. And he gets really upset in the process. You guys didn't see that. But uh, actually, no, he didn't forfeit. Did he? It says he forfeited. What the heck? Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, we won. I, I don't understand what, what's happening with Showdown. Probably shouldn't be recording right now. Uh, I mean, it's only 2 in the afternoon. By the time this goes up, it should be about 4. So, got a very interesting team. Um, some scary-looking Pokemon, but other than... <laughs> Ambipom, Ambipom, such a scary-looking Pokemon. But, uh, no, in all honesty, like it looks like a pretty heavy wall-breaking team, especially with Exploit and Nidoking. Um, what I want to do is lead off with Amoongus here, because it deals with the majority of his team. Um, it can, I think it can take a hit from x -Cloud if it's a standard Amoongus. I haven't even checked the set, to be honest with you. Pivot versus uh, x -Cloud. Uh Anything but Fire Blast it should be able to take, right? Yeah. Uh, it can even take Fire Blast, actually, if it's got 92. If it's got 219. Do I have 219? Yes, I do. Awesome. Okay, so Evire's in. Uh, this can easily go for an Ice Punch on me, but I'm not too terrified. I'm just going to go for a Spore. I uh, should be able to live an Ice Punch, no problem, because of this immense HP stat. And uh, we're going to put something to sleep. And then we will probably... I don't know what I'll do, actually. Uh, he is Life Orb. That's great to know. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just go for a Giga Drain, honestly, because he still has to burn a turn of sleep. We'll get back some health. We can live the next Ice Punch if he does wake up on the following turn. And uh, I'll just, I don't know, spam Spore, I guess, if he wants to stay in. Uh, his play here should be to go into Explod in theory. And fire off a Boom Burst, in which case I might switch into Aerodactyl. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. 
as he is going to go into Exploud, yep. And uh, we're going to get back a decent amount of health from that. And I will switch into Arrow. I'm going to do it because his two only moves that should be able to hit Amoongus are... Uh, well, he could have Ice Beam. He could have Ice Beam. That could be an issue. We'll see. As he goes for the Fire Blast. Okay, and misses, unfortunately, but that wouldn't have done a tremendous amount. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for the Quake here because he has nothing off the ground. And that's going to do a lot of damage to something. And if he chooses to go into Nidoking, if it's Scarfed or whatever it is, then uh, then that's good. We get off a lot, of, a lot of damage. His entire team is really, really frail outside of like this, uh, which is, I think, Mega. Uh, no, it's Leftovers. Huh, okay. Um, I'm going to go into Primarina because it doesn't care about being burned. And his Hydro Pump switch-ins do not exist at all. <laughs> like they're, they're, They don't exist on his team. Everything dies. There's not. I'm serious, guys. There's not a single mon that can take a hydro pump from Primarina. That's how powerful this thing is. Um, and we are just gonna go for the pump. He shouldn't be faster than me because he shouldn't be speed invested. Uh, wait, it could actually be a speed tie. I think 218 means the same speed tier, yeah. But uh, he can't really do anything to me outside of maybe knock off. And if he knocks me off, then so be it. Just means that I can switch up my moves. He's gonna switch out into Nido King. I am gonna pump, knock that thing out. Beautiful. And again, he doesn't have a switch into this. Uh, his only Mon that would be able to straight knock this out is Asleep. He does have an Exploit, but again, I have a uh, an Aerodactyl that threatens to come in as he Boom Bursts or uh, Fire Blasts. So it's not the smart, it's not the uh, it's not the safest play. Let's just say. I think his play is actually to go into uh, Amipom as he does. Okay, good. All right, so we'll go into Swampert. We'll get up our rocks and we'll end this game. Essentially, um, we should be fine from here. Let's see what he does. He goes for the fake out. If he actually has seed bomb, I'll be impressed. But I am just gonna gonna go for the rocks. There's no reason not to. And everything's gonna get chipped away slowly. And then I can just bring in Primarina and start moon blasting because now moon blast kills everything. Hydro pump killed everything before because he had a Nido King. But now that that thing's gone, I can just spam moon blast. What's going on with our draft? We're uh, like I said before, guys. We're drafting for the uh, NPL miners at the moment. And, uh, okay, he goes for power-up punch. That's actually kind of scary. I don't think he can take me out. So I'm going to Earthquake. But that's still a little bit scary. If he's got double hit, it might be able to take me out. Because I think it's a little bit stronger than return, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's like base 104 instead of 102. Uh, there's double hit. 28, 30. Takes a life orb hit. Takes an Earthquake. Crit. Dies. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure that crit didn't matter too much because um, I would have lost my Swampert ultimately, but that's it. That's all that would have happened. He goes into Mighty Anna. Uh, Mighty Anna. Mighty Anna. This thing is Moxie, which is why I do not want to stay in on it. And I'm going to switch into Bisharp uh, because we speed tie. And uh, I don't need him knocking me out with a crunch and then sweeping my team. <laughs> that's what I'm fearful of. We will go into Bisharp here. He does go for the Crunch. Fantastic. He takes a Life Orb round. I'm going to go for the Iron Head because we do Speed Tie, of course. Once again, like I said. Uh, if he wants to go into Sableye, that's fine. We're Lumberry, so I will just attack it. And if he goes into x and then it takes an Iron Head. If he goes into Evire, it takes an Iron Head. Uh, that, does, that doesn't get static, I don't believe. He's going to take an Iron Head. He's going to miss Play Rough. That's unfortunate, but I do get to go for a Sucker Punch here. Uh, make sure that I take him out. And... Uh, we won that speed tie. If he's got Sucker, I think Mighty Anna gets Sucker. I'm pretty sure. I don't see it used much, so it's not a good Pokemon, guys. Don't use this, by the way. Um, this looks like a Verlissa fight. <laughs> okay, I gotta shut my mouth. I gotta, I gotta stop. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Sucker is gonna take him out. It's fantastic. Uh, one of his Pokemon is asleep. The other one doesn't appreciate taking a Sucker Punch and will die to a Wing Attack after, or even an Earthquake if I choose to go for that. Um... Yeah, we should have a 6-0 in the bag. Well, maybe a 5-0. Yeah, 5-0. I'm going to start finding another game right away. I'm going to move uh, through these games quickly because we're already at 24 minutes and I think this is our, only our second battle. I'm going to go for a, uh, a knockoff on his Sableye. Get rid of it. As well, we did find another battle, but it's taking a while to load. We'll see it in a second as soon as we're done with this one. We'll pick our lead and then we'll, uh, we'll figure it out from there. But Sableye probably won't go down to a knockoff, I don't think, if it took that uh, that attack earlier that well. Uh, I'm immune to Willow. That's true. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that mechanic. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Alright, so my opponent left, which is fun. 
Uh, <laughs> what is going on? I think uh, Arrow is a fine lead. I'm going to claim victory, but he might come back. As uh, this opponent's going to forfeit, so... Wait, why, why is it saying that I'm forfeiting? No, he goes into Evire, but he should still forfeit, right? In theory? Yeah, okay. Alright, so Showdown's messed up, guys. Don't play Showdown right now. Um, I'm actually going to pause it and wait to see if this guy comes back, and we'll be right back. Alright, guys. I took the courtesy of finding us another game because uh, the other one disconnected, so... This should be fine. My opponent has three poison types, uh, <laughs> which is fun to deal with with this team. Um, actually, Arrow just kills him. Arrow just kills everything, except for Crook. I just got to get rid of Crook. Um, I mean, <laughs> what do I lead with? Prim? Yeah, let's lead with Primarina. Um, yeah, uh, I'm still pretty low on the ladder, like I said before, guys. But that's uh, that's laddering for you. That's uh, that's lives for you. My opponent's gonna lead off with Crook. Fantastic! Catch this hydro pump. <laughs> Something catch this hydro pump right now and drop. Ah, oh, I love Primarina, man. Primarina's amazing. It's like ridiculously strong. Okay, Crook is gone. Arrow wins. <laughs> that's that's it. It's over. Arrow just wins. It earthquakes uh, two of his members. Stone Edge is the other two. Glalie is going to come in to freeze dry me. I'm going to go into Bisharp so that I don't get freeze dried. Um, and this thing is actually a little bit of a problem. I'm not going to lie. Because if it has Ice Shard, it's going to do a lot to Arrow. And if I miss Stone Edge, I'm screwed. So I really don't want that to happen. But uh, we'll just switch out into Bisharp here. I think freeze dry is his best play no matter what because I have five things weak to ice um, if he does have freeze dry so he's gonna mega evolve he's gonna go for the iron head cool uh, so I can't assume automatically that he doesn't have earthquake but at the same time I really just want to iron head guys I don't even want to waste my time sucker punching because he clearly doesn't have freeze dry and that means that Swampert just comes in, sets up rocks, uh, and then once that one Swampert goes down, then yeah, okay. And we live the the earthquake, by the way. Uh, we take out the glit. Did Bisharp just live an attack? Did Bisharp just live a super effective base 100 attack? What is ha what is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Was that thing uninvested? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way Bisharp lives that normally. Wait a minute. Hold on, this is this is amazing. Uh, earthquake. Where's earthquake? Earthquake. Actually, no, it doesn't do that much. Wow, it only does a maximum of 90. That's insane. Except he did 78, which is a mineral. Okay, so we lived on a mineral. That's kind of that sucks for him, but um, I mean, I'm just gonna go for. I'm gonna switch out into Swampert. I'm gonna keep my Sucker Punch for his three other Pokemon. And uh, having some interesting discussions in the NPL about Zazo and Gypsy, the two best draft league players of all time. And uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry guys, my attention's a little bit uh, diverted because I really want to finish my draft off strong. And I've got it, guys. When you get when when you see my team, when you guys see the team that I drafted, you are going to freak out. <laughs> it just makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's open draft just like NPL Miners was, just like season six of the NPL Majors is. So yeah, it's the kind of stuff that you can get is insane. He goes to the cross poison, doesn't get the poison surprisingly because that's a 50% chance by the way. And I'm just gonna go for Scald. I just wanna weaken this thing, honestly. I don't need Swampert. I really don't. I, j I just need Arrow. Arrow beats everything. And if he wants to go for the fog, that's fine. I don't understand why he's going for cross poison. It literally does seven. Uh, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the ladder for you. He does go for the fog. We are going to burn this crowbat. Nope, we're not. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just gonna get up more rocks. He's probably trying to poison me with cross poison. Like that's probably his intention. Um, at any given second, I can switch into Aerodactyl and just win this game. To be honest with you guys, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to risk anything because I'm really a tryhard and I really want to win. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, 
but that's just how I am. We lost game one, so I'm trying to make it up to you guys. He's going to switch into his Alakazam. All right. He probably has Energy Ball. Um, I mean, I'm just going to Quake. I was already sacking this thing to his Crobat just to get up rocks. And now they're up. And now his Crobat's uh, weakened. So is his Gengar. And so is his Salazzle. He goes for Psy Shock, so he doesn't even have it. Um, and I'm going to go for Scald here. Because if he wants to switch into Crobat for whatever reason, then at least I'll hit it. And uh, his Sash is broken if he had Sash. If he's Scarf, then okay. Cool. <laughs> he's still not knocking out my Aerodactyl. He needs like two Scarfers to knock out my Aerodactyl, basically. That's the only way he, he comes out on top in that situation. But we are going to knock out the Alakazam with the Scald right there. He can now go into his Gengar if he wants to. Um, or his Salazzle, it doesn't really matter. Either one knocked me out from this range. Sludge Wave takes me out uh, from either Pokemon. He's got his three Poison types left. We said at the beginning of the battle that um, he had three Poison types, and they're all still around, so kudos to him for really liking Poison types. Um, I mean, I kind of like them. I got a, I got an Amoongus. It's a, it's a cool guy. It's a fun guy. Um, it's a terrible pun, by the way. Don't make that ever again. Note to self. Oh, he's on a Balloon! interesting okay well that makes things a yeah that actually makes things a lot more interesting because now i'm forced to scald and if he stays on his balloon i could have a little bit of an issue because <laughs> then i have to land stone edge twice rather than just once and that's kind of annoying um and this thing can do a lot of damage to me i can break its balloon with um with sucker punch so it's not too bad. He's got dra- Oh, God. He's got Dragon Pulse. Guys, he has Dragon Pulse. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> Salazzle. Where are you? Salazzle, 252. <laughs> uh, Timon. Dragon Pulse. Sorry I'm speaking like this. I'm just- I'm just being wacky. Uh, Latias. Offensive. Yeah, that does nothing. Okay, <laughs> we're uh, we're going into Latias and we're clicking the Psyshock. And uh, then if he wants to go into Crobat, that's fine. Uh, Psyshock will be able to take this thing out. It will knock out his Gengar. It will also knock out his uh, Crobat. Uh, it'll knock out all three. So it's a, it's a no drawback play. He has to Mega Crit Dragon Pulse and be modest and Mega Crit. <laughs> As you can see, he got a low roll there. Uh, he's going to take a Psyshock and go down. And now, Aerodactyl wins. So, <clears throat> that should be the end of the game. Of course, I also still have Sucker Punch online because I kept that around. He's going to go into Crobat. He's probably going to just knock me out, honestly. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Psy Shock here. And uh, I'm not risking my Aerodactyl ever. He goes for a Brave Bird, knocks me out. That's fine. I can now go out onto Arrow. Uh, we will just click Stone Edge. And if he wants to switch into Gengar, that's fine. It could be Scarfed guys it could be scarf but the thing is if it's scarf then it has to lock itself into a move and then it just dies to a sucker punch because gengar is really frail so here's the stone edge we do connect and then we'll go for an earthquake on his gengar i swear to god if he's air balloon again <laughs> if he has two air balloon mons show me the money let's see no it's not air balloon okay is he scarfed we'll find out in a second either way like he doesn't beat amoongus <laughs> like i just spore him and win so uh he is not scarfed we do knock out the gengar and that is going to be gg so really cool team really fun uh, i didn't really get to show it off the way i wanted to per se uh we're now 1188 on the ladder where does that put us uh uu 1188 are we even ladder nope not yet we're a couple of points off very few so uh there's been a lot, a lot of people laddering for this tournament as you guys can see everybody's name is ult uh, i think this guy is in the npl minors with us uh, i'm not 100 percent sure i gotta check but i'm pretty sure and uh yeah so this is really cool uh really good players up here but really cool team uh, again Definitely go check it out in the, in the uh, description, guys. Go check out the thread on Smogon. Also, go check out the Paceman if you want to use the team alongside me. And uh, sorry for yelling. And uh, guys, if you did enjoy, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.